hello everyone and welcome to another video so in this video let's take a look at this uh, usb meter from rui dang and this one is their latest meter and this one is the um34c uh, you can also buy the um34 version that doesn't come with the c and c basically stands for the communication so if you buy the c version you will get a bluetooth chip on your meter and you can use that bluetooth chip to connect your usb meter to your android phone or a windows pc however this particular unit uh, doesn't connect to your windows pc it can only be connected to your android uh, devices because there is no software available for the windows pc uh, uh, looking at the name um34c you might think that this unit is the successor to the previous unit which was the um25c but that's not the case. In fact, it is the successor to the, the first unit that they launched that was the UM24C and it is very much similar to the UM24C. Uh, the only difference in this one is that this supports uh, USB 3.0. Uh, so the latest, uh, so the, the best uh, USB meter available at this moment is the UM25C. Uh, which is uh, much more versatile and can take wider range of measurement and has more resolution when compared to this and the UM24C version. So without any further delay, let's quickly take a look at the box and as well as the content of the box. So as with, with all the USB meters from Rui Dang, you get a tin can, uh, sorry, a tin box and this is plastic, looks like glass, but this is plastic. So once you open it, you can see uh, a cardboard and the picture of the meter itself and you can also see the model number UM34C once you open it you can scan this QR code uh, QR code to reach uh, this uh, this link and from this link you can download the Android app as well as the user manual for this meter let's keep this aside and here is the meter itself the meter is enclosed in this tin can which is uh, filled with this foam and it is very sturdy in there so there is no chance that you might break uh, the unit inside this box let's keep the box aside for now and let's take a look at the unit itself so this is the unit it comes with only uh, two inputs one is the type c input as you can see and the other one is the micro usb input and of course you get the usb a input and here is your USB A female port. Uh, the blue colored USB port tells you that this is in fact uh, USB 3.0 compatible. And if you look closely inside you will see a very small uh, connection in middle and that tells you that this is a USB 3.0 compatible. As with all, the, all other uh, units from Rui Dang, uh, this is uh, the uh, the physical appearance is very much similar you get two uh, uh, the main circuit board uh, covered by these two plastics and these two plastics are held together using these uh, standoff and they are screwed together at the back you can see it says USB meter and on top you can see two buttons which will uh, help you to navigate through the menus and change different settings at the bottom you will also get two more buttons uh, this button is the previous button and this button is the next button uh, here is your small uh, on the other side if you look closely here is your uh, bluetooth input and at the back you can see that this is your bluetooth on off switch so you can turn on and turn off the uh, bluetooth uh, whenever you want the only problem with this unit is that uh, not a problem but but a drawback or a, a, a deficiency in this unit is that it cannot connect uh, to your Windows PC. However, if you compare it to the other uh, USB meter, the previous meter uh, before this was the UM24C and the UM25C, both of them are easily able to connect to your Windows PC as well as your Android app. So without any further delay, let me just quickly turn it on, connect this to a charger and then we will take a look at some of the features and see what we can do with this unit okay so here I've got uh, my Motorola charger this is a turbo charger and supports Qualcomm 2.0 technology so let's just turn it on and plug in our UM34C 
so once you power it on you see the Rui Dang logo and this is your first screen on the first screen you can see the uh, voltage down below that you can see the current on top you can see the temperature 28 degrees celsius you can see the group in what group uh, what group of memory is being used uh, below that you can see uh, the resistance i don't know what that resistance is under that you can see the power that we are consuming at the moment we are consuming 0 amp and that's why the power is 0 watt here you can see the milliamp r as well as the milliwatt r but this keeps on adding up until it reaches 1 and when it reaches 1 milliamp r it resets itself uh, however if you are in a different uh, group of uh, uh, memory uh, this keeps on accumulating so you can change the group uh, from here on top you can see there are two buttons this button and this button at the bottom you can see two more buttons so once you uh, after one minute the unit goes into sleep mode so to wake up the unit you need to just press a button and the unit comes back to uh, life on top you can see this is your sleep uh, button here is your uh, uh, if you long press this button uh, the screen orientation will change and the buttons that are around the unit uh, they relate to the uh, orientation of the screen so if I long, long press this button you will see that the orientation is changed and this is helpful in certain situation when a charger only allows you to plug the unit in certain uh, orientation and you, you have to tilt your neck to see the numbers so you can use this uh, feature to uh, move to orient the screen in such a way that you can read it so as you can see now the unit is uh, straight in this way at this moment uh, the button also changes their position so now these two buttons are your previous and next and top two buttons are your help as well as your sleep button so if I want to change the uh, orientation back to the previous orientation all I have to do is press this button and this should change back to my previous orientation so let's this was the first page let's press the next button to see the next page on the next page you can see again see the voltage the current that you are consuming here is your data positive and data negative voltages on top you can see the temperature your group your mode at what mode you are charging it can display uh, standard charging method this is for Qualcomm 2.0 or Qualcomm 3.0 again you you have your previous and next button so let's uh, press the next again this is your next screen on this screen it starts recording your accumulated milliamp power as well as milliwatt r and right now the uh, uh, the recording symbol is red that means it is not recording so when it is recording when you plug something load some uh, kind of load at the output uh, it turns green and that means it, it starts recording and it starts accumulating the milliamp hour as well as the milliwatt hours uh, to change the minimum threshold at which it starts recording you can change it from 10 milliamperes to 30 milliamperes and to do that all you have to do is long press the next button and once you do that you can see uh, there is uh, the 10 ampere is selected and now I can change that to 30 milliamperes but I don't want to do that so once you uh, change uh, this number to do that you will, all you have to do is press the previous button and once you do that uh, it starts uh, uh, cycling between the values so I don't want to change it so once you are uh, satisfied with the value just press the next button long press the next button and it, it saves that value so again press the next button that brings us to the next page on this page you can check the resistance of a wire so to do that all you have to do is first plug in your unit take a load so I've plugged in the load and let's increase the load to 1 ampere there we go now as you can see we are at 1 ampere at this point to store this value all you have to do is press the next button long press the next button 
and now it has remembered the previous value now as you can see the bottom uh, uh, symbol is uh, flickering that means we are ready to measure the line voltage uh, the line characteristics at this point uh, take the unit out of the charger take your micro USB cable this is a cheap very cheap micro USB cable that I bought from a local market plug your uh, charging cable in and you have your USB-C as well as your micro USB input so I've got a micro USB cable all I have to do is plug it in and as you can see the unit turns back on the bottom symbol is still flickering make sure that you're still at 1 ampere and now again press long press the uh, next button to get the resistance of the wire so after we've done that we can see that we are getting a resistance of 0.358 ohms so you can check the resistance or quality of wires with this method once you do this test you will need to to again start using the unit you will need to turn off the unit so i'm just going to take out the usb cable that way i've just turned off the unit let me plug it back in so this is that after that on your next page you can see the voltage and current graph so you can see the voltage and current graph the voltage is uh, given by the uh, yellow line and the current is given by the uh, blue line you can also by long pressing the next button you can also check the uh, data positive as well as the data negative graph as you can see now it is displaying the data positive as well the data negative graph again long pressing the next button you can go back to the voltage and current uh, characteristics graph press the next button again and at this uh, page you can set the different uh, settings of your meter you can change the uh, light on time you can change the brightness you can change the settings from centigrade to Fahrenheit you can change the themes the color schemes so to do that, do that just press the next long press the next button until it selects something as we know we have selected something so uh, to cycle between these options all you have to do is pressing press the next button to move from different option let's say I want to change the brightness to change the brightness use the previous button and it will cycle through all the settings so 5 this is the 5 brightness this is the 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 once you are satisfied with your uh, setting long press the next button and it should take you out of the menu now that we have set the brightness let's take the next the next page again brings you takes you back the previous the first screen of the setting so on the second page you can see that it says mode which can tell you at what mode you are charging so I've got a USB trigger here this can trigger Qualcomm 2.0 as well as 3.0 technology a charging method uh, this charger is a Motorola turbo charger so it only supports Qualcomm uh, 2.0 so when I plug this in the mode should change from uh, DCP 1.5 amp to uh, Qualcomm 2.0 so let me just plug it in as soon as I plugged it in you can see that the mode has changed from Qualcomm 2.0 so you can also check uh, at what mode your phone is charging or whether the charger you are testing supports uh, Qualcomm fast charging technology or not so let me just uh, take this load out okay the unit also has a secret menu so when you plug your unit in so when you plug your unit in and you see that uh, the even though the load is not connected and if, if you are still seeing that there is some kind of uh, uh, current you're still uh, seeing some kind of current that means your unit is not properly calibrated so you need to zero out the current and to do that all you have to do is take out the unit press any of the bottom button I like to press the left bottom button while pressing it insert the unit without releasing the button 
and I'm still holding the bottom button so while pressing this button put it inside you will see the secret menu and it will automatically start jumping from one option to another option and if you want to uh, select an option just release your uh, button at that option so let's just do that again so the first option is uh, Chinese second is English third is reset and the fourth is zero leave that on zero once you do that the current setting will be zeroed out and that's how you calibrate your setting let me just take it out you can see uh, at the bottom there is your Bluetooth on off function so let me just download the app and we will test how it works in the uh, Android app as I've told you before this is the UM34C and this can only connect to your Android app uh, and it cannot be connected to your Windows PC and that's one of the uh, limitation of this particular material however if you look at the UM24C or the UM25C both of those are capable of connecting with your Android phones as well as your Windows PC so let me just install the uh, app and I will show you what else you can do in the app as well okay so this is the pamphlet that came with the meter and this is their link for their app so what I'm going to do is scan the app using the camera and go to this link so this is what the app looks like after installing the app as you can see you got all the windows in a separate single window and to connect to the unit all you have to do is there is your bluetooth switch turn it on and you will see a blue light flashing that means it is ready to connect now I'm going to press the bluetooth symbol on the app and scan for devices So go to your Bluetooth settings and you will see uh, a setting down which says rarely use devices. Click on it and the password is 1234. So I guess we are connected now. Go back to the app and then connect on the UM34C. So it's connected now and you can see all the data. So we are getting 5. So all the windows are displaying in a single window. And what you can do from this app is you can basically change the uh, data set group from 0 to 9. You can also uh, decrease the brightness. So right now it is at 3. And if I decrease the brightness, you will see that the brightness on the unit will also decrease. This is the lowest brightness and this is the highest brightness. I like to keep it at 3 so that's where it is. You can also decrease the uh, on-off time, the screen on time which is currently set at uh, 1 minute and you can also change the stop current or the starting current, minimum starting current to start recording the values. You can also see the voltage as well as the current. At this point we are not, the, uh, no load is connected and that's why we are getting uh, the power is displaying as 0 watt. You can also rotate the screen. If you press the rotate button, you can see on the unit the screen is rotated. And you can change the orientation as per your requirements. So if I plug a phone inside this unit. Mm, so let's plug in the phone and you should see the current start changing. So at this point we are drawing a current of 1.5 amperes at 5.3 volts. If I go to the uh, second page you can press the next button and you will go to the second page and at this moment the meter cannot determine what mode we are charging in. So you can also use this app to change from different pages. And this is the graph. One thing about the graph is that it updates 
uh, the update frequency is very small so it only updates at a frequency of uh, 2 hertz which is about 2 times a second and if I change anything it takes about uh, it updates half a second after half a second on top you can see different options this is your uh, language option you can change from different languages uh, this is your info and this is your uh, if you click on this button the all the data will be saved in a excel file which I will show you in a minute so if you click on it all the data will be saved, saved in your excel file so you will see excel is file is generated and to view the file all you have to do is go back inside your files so inside your internal file storage you will see this file um34c.xls this is your excel file and you can open it and you can see that all the current values at different voltages are given as well as the data positive as well as the data negative voltages and the time as well you can use these data to plot a graph and determine at what speed and at what time your phone was charging so this is the XLS, XLS file that we just generated let's open it and here is your data now you can what you can do is select all the data and then go to insert click on any of the graph type I'm going to select the column and then I'm going to select the any of these graphs and there you go you can use this data to generate graphs for your voltage as well as current characteristics so there we go this was my review of the UM34C I hope you found this video helpful thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video